<laughs> Just when I think I'm done talking about Stellantis crap for the day, we get another video. Welcome on back to TK's Garage, and more and more Challenger windshields are cracking. We now have VIN numbers with these and more photos. Welcome on back to TK's Garage. So, in today's video, we got more photos in with more customers having more windshields cracking. And it looks like they're all built around the same time. I'm willing to bet that this issue probably corresponds with the customer in Texas that had the whole bond issue where the entire ass end of his car wasn't glued or bonded and was squeaking and moving around and making noise. Completely unsafe, by the way. Um, and I'm thinking that these people are probably having the same issues. And when the car is just driven, right, just under load, and that twisting of the car, right? I'll give you an example. If you ever have a big V8, and you're just sitting there and you rev the car a little bit, you feel the car move, right? It move, it, it twists a little bit, right? And that's just moving against the engine, you know, the uh, motor mounts and stuff in there. And when you have a car and the body is not put together properly, meaning it's not safe, if you keep having your windshields crack like this, most likely it's not safe for you to drive that car. What do you think happens if you get into an impact or a collision in that car and it's not glued together properly? It could tear in half, the whole ass end could come off, it could crunch up and, and cause severe damage or even kill you or your family. Now I know I sound like a law firm commercial right now and we're not even doing that, but it's a serious concern. And, and here's the thing, Stellantis doesn't have a comment. I've hit them up directly for comment. Oh, we don't, we don't see this as an issue. This is a, you know, an isolated incident. So the other 10 cars that we've covered here on the channel, the other 10 with the same crack and the same windshield or is an isolated in in incident? Get the F out of here. God forbid, let Demonology's windshield crack and that Demon 170 or Racer X or, 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 or Kevin Van Voris or, or Butter to Insiders crack from just chilling and see if Stellantis says, oh, it's just an isolated incident. <laughs> it's just an isolated incident. Your mama was an isolated incident. <laughs> but for real though, it was only one time thing. I didn't even want to do it. It just happened. <laughs> I can't help myself sometimes. Anyways, Look at these images. So we got these in and it's some of the same people like other customers that had the cracked windshield are now on different forums and they're all starting to communicate and find each other. And, and for Stellantis, if they don't jump ahead of this now, which could be just buying back those cars, right? And getting them new ones because they have the inventory. They're, believe me, there are so many freaking scat packs and, and V8 RTs around the country sitting on lots. It's not even funny. It's a lot. So this is not an issue that Stellantis couldn't solve. They could. They just hope that it sweeps under the rug so they don't have to deal with it. And um, unfortunately, they could deal with it now and make all of these customers whole. Or, or, how about this? They're going to get sued. And you're going to have the likes of Morgan and & Morgan and Gordon and & Partners and, you know, uh, Harold and & Lowe and all these other law firms go after Stellantis. And it's going to cost them so much money in legal fees when all they could have done is make it right. Because here's the thing. I wouldn't consistently be talking about this if these customers weren't having to go back in two times, three times, four times in some cases for the same crack on the windshield. You can't tell me 
that there's not an issue with the body. And in fact, one of the customers now, they're getting a, I think it's called a laser or something inspection. They're like literally, windshields out, they're lasering the car. They're putting the car under load, driving it, and seeing if the car flexes. And you know what I think they're going to find out? I think they're going to find out that the car wasn't manufactured correctly. And it's going to continue to happen, and the windows are going to continue to crack, and Stellantis is going to be forced to buy them back. And instead of them just doing that from the jump and saving all of the bad press from us third-rate YouTubers, it's going to expand, and you're going to see articles from The Drive or Stell Power and other people writing about this issue causing more damage to the brand because Carlos and his little band of cronies of Stellantis are friggin' dumb, dumb, missing chromosomes, under 50 IQ, retarded. Sorry. Mm, TK said the R word. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys think about all these broken windshields? Because I can tell you right now, that's not normal. And it's not just a, oh, they, they messed up the A-pillar on a bunch of cars. No, it's not just that. I'm willing, to, I'm, I'm willing to bet money on it that it has to do with the bonding issue in the bodies of these cars. And I bet you they were all manufactured around the same time. And I bet they're all missing glue. They probably make squeaking noises and all kinds of other crap outside of the windshields cracking. I'm willing to bet money. That it has to do with those bodies twisting under a load. Which, if the news I got in today, the customer has cracking paint. I've never seen that before. But you think about metal, right? And painted metal. And when you twist it far enough, just like if you get into an accident and something gets dented, right? What happens? The paint cracks. <laughs> or it got hit. If that metal is flexing enough, like it's literally just, right? That paint can crack on that rear quarter um, like it happened in this other customer's case. Now I'm waiting to hear back from the dealer to find out if it's just a paint defect or if it happened from that kind of flexing. No, it's not a Demon 170, but it is a Hellcat. Wide body red eye. So it will be interesting to see if that's the case, because that's just another issue you can add to a poorly manufactured and put together car. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And until next time, you already know what time it is. Stay petty, my friends.